Welcome to episode 7 of my Arsenal Football Manager 2016 Let's Play series. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, please continue to hit the like button on every video, that would be much appreciated. So today it is a huge episode because we're taking on Barcelona in the Champions League first knockout round, the first leg, and then we're taking on Southampton in the Capital One Cup final. So a chance of silverware in today's episode, but this first game really is big. It's a bit unfortunate we've got Champions League and then four days time we've got the, the League Cup final. We're also suffering a bit from injuries, I'll move on to that in a second. But as you can see, we're, we've been unbeaten for ages. The last episode we um, defeated Middlesbrough, beat top Don Doncaster in the FA Cup third round, then drew against Chelsea uh, and beat Man City. Really brilliant performance from that man, Nicholas Bentner of course, Lord Bentner's back at the team. He couldn't play against Middlesbrough because he was cup tied for some reason. I guess um, the German Cup or something must translate over here, and he was cup tied. But he wasn't cup tied for the FA Cup, strangely enough. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, we beat Middlesbrough comfortably in the second leg, 3 0. Erzul, Mane, and Sanchez with the goals later in the game. We then scraped past Ipswich 3 2. They took the lead, but Bentner got us back into the game a minute later. He started this game and then assisted Joel Campbell to make it. 2-1. We then went 3-1 up, but they got a goal back. Then we were a bit unfortunate to draw against Everton. A bit of a topsy-turvy game. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of a blow, really, to our title challenge drawing that game. Marassa and Mane with our goals. We then comfortably beat Sunderland 3-0. Alaba with his first goal for Arsenal. Marassa scored and Cazorla with a penalty before beating West Brom 2-0. Coughlin and Sanchez with the goals. And then, in the FA Cup fifth round just now, we beat Chelsea 2-0. We're unbeaten against them this season. So, amazing stuff. We're just, it's, we're doing so well. And we've only lost two games in all competitions this season. Once against Man City and once against Juventus. Hopefully, we can survive against Barcelona. But it's certainly going to be tough. So, the team I've gone with to face Barcelona is a little different to normal. I'm not playing a deep um, a defensive midfielder because I don't really have anyone to play there. Unfortunately, Flamini's still injured. And where else? Coquelin is suspended. And Alaba, who could also play there, I guess, is injured for the next three or four weeks. Really big blow for him, because he's been amazing for me lately. Giroud's also injured, as is Bentner, as is uh, Alexis Sanchez for f a few weeks, two to three weeks, I think. So there's not many options in certain positions. We've only got Maratta up front, but Welbeck is back actually. So I do have Welbeck to call upon. He made his debut in the FA Cup against Chelsea. So let's see what we can do against the big boys Barcelona. Wish me luck, guys. I'm not sure what I'm more likely to win at this stage, the Champions League or the league. Probably, although we're a few points behind Man City, we're probably more likely to win the league simply because we're up against Barcelona in this first knockout round and Messi, Suarez, Neymar, Iniesta, Rakitic, they're all going to punish us aren't they? How are we going to stop them? I don't really know. <laughs> We're playing Gibbs at left back today, he's up against Messi. If I had Alaba I'd feel a bit more confident because Alaba is really solid, he's been really good for me apart from a couple of red cards. But Gibbs He's going to have to prove his worth to me today. He really is. Come on, guys. And I've had to go slightly more attacking, simply because I don't have a defensive midfielder. don't feel confident playing Arteta really deep. We've got a chance early on, though. Walcott, good save by Bravo. And headed wide by Kashani. So an early chance for us there. A couple of chances, really, from the initial shot and then from the corner. And now Messi's through and he's scored. Bloody hell. 26... Yeah, 26th goal of the season for him. He's taken the free kick, it's headed away, and he's running. No one's picking up. He's just ghosted past everyone, and Czech can't keep it out, and we're 1-0 down early on. It's probably a bit suicidal going attacking, but it's my usual tactic. I'm going to have tr keep trusting it. I could just pull everyone back, be really defensive, and lose 1-0, but I, I just want to go for it. We've had more shots than them so far in this game. Corner to Barcelona. We head it away for the time being. Iniesta back into Neymar, looking dangerous. Messi, great save by Czech. He's still world class. Maratta, can he break? Lovely ball to Walcott. We're on the counter here. Walcott skips past his man wonderfully. It's blocked, unfortunately. Arteta picks it up, though, 
into Walcott. Walcott, Ozil, good defending by Alba, I think, for, for Barcelona there. We've won a corner. Crossed in, knocked away. And Walcott's going to pick it up. Have we still got a chance here? Cazorla, back to Arteta. Ramsey, let's get a shot away, guys. Oh, so close. Mertesacker does well. Still highlight going. Barcelona on the attack again, looking dangerous. Into Messi. Is he going to punish us? Rakitic almost did. Neymar does on the rebound from the angle. It's 2-0. Things we've actually had a couple of chances in this game. More, we're, we're on level pegging. But, oh, it's 3. Maybe I should just be going more defensive here. And Gibbs has picked up a knock. I think this Champions League tie is already over. Chambers going to have to play at left back. I don't know what to do, guys, because we just we can't outplay Barcelona at their own game, can we? That's the problem. I'm trying to play quite a Barcelona, a modern Barcelona style of play. A few years ago, they're very slow build-up, weren't they? But they're a bit more, a bit more impetus about their attack now. It's slightly more direct. They're still very good at passing, quite obviously, but they are uh, a bit more in your face about it now and that's what I've been playing this season short passing but direct at the same time pacey and and trying to get goals as many goals as possible really we're on the attack here but I th I think this tie is already over guys here goes Neymar Messi for I want to go I want to play the right way but we've just not done it right at all and this is the first time we've been completely thrashed in a game. We've had chances though. Like that was a chance. Barcelona are just too good. Well, hopefully we can go and win a trophy in this episode. We may get thrashed 10-0 at this rate, to be honest. We are missing key players. Alaba, Sanchez, Coquelin in particular. Coquelin would have not... We wouldn't have conceded four goals by now if Coquelin in the team. Simple. I just don't have the players to be able to play in the, the, that defensive midfield position, which is why I had to I had to do something different. Went to my other tactic, which has worked very well this season. Walcott gets a goal back. I don't know if that's going to be crucial at all. It's an away goal. But we're 4-1 down, and that's a good counter-attack. There's so many highlights in this game, though. It's just constant. Here they go with Suarez. Skipping past Koscielny, check saves. Another chance for Barcelona, here goes Arteta. Up the pitch to Cazorla. Maratta, Walcott, oh, 4-2. Game on, somehow. We're back in the game. I, mean, I think I'm right to be attacking. Although I've gone standard flexible and it's worked. Two counter-attacks from corners. My, my defensive corner tactic basically has someone on the edge of the box and then Sanchez up front. Not Sanchez, the left winger up front. We don't have Sanchez today. Whoever the left winger is. Although it's the other way around here. Oh, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, we counted very well. And Walcott finishes. But another highlight straight away. It really is just constant here. Here goes Neymar. Mess ah oh, Suarez. It's five two and surely that really is all over now. Not six, please. Here they go. Rakitic. Messi. Messi. Oh, it's a deflection off Murtasaka. A massive deflection. It's an own goal and it's 6-2. What the hell is up with this game? This is the first really crazy game. Oh, I beat Stoke 9-1. That was a crazy game. But this really is a crazy, crazy game. Okay, half time. 6-2 down. What the hell do I do about this? They have been rampant. Ozil's on a 6.0. Arteta's on a 6.0. As is Mertesacker. I need to make subs. Paulist is going to come on for... Or Gabriel's going to come on for, for Mertesacker. And Arteta's just not doing it in the middle. I'm going to bring Wilshire on as a... Ramsey's going to play as a deep-line playmaker. Wilshire is an attacking playmaker. Right. Another highlight. We've not had much in the second half. It's been a pretty equal game. 22 shots to 15. 50-50 possession. They've just really blitzed us. Oh, Morata scores! 6-3. This is... Wow, <laughs> no words for this game. If this happened in real life, unbelievable stuff. Just watching this highlight at really slow speed. Hit Walcott down the wing and put in a good ball for Morata. Look at that, nice ball. Morata, great finish. This is a chance, a corner. Back to Morata. What's he going to do here? Ramsey, 
saved easily by Bravo. We've certainly played better in the second half. Ramsey. Through to Walcott. Into Ozil. Can he do something here? Maratta. Saved. That was a chance. They've only had one more shot than us all game now. But they're on the counter. It's fallen to Roberto. Neymar. That's too far for him, fortunately. Goal kick from Czech. Highlights straight away. So many highlights in this game. I swear I've got it on key. I suppose most of the highlights have been key. Oh, yeah, it is on key. Suarez almost scored there. That's so close. Koscielny, great tackle, and he's on a yellow. Maratta over to Walcott. What a ball. Can he put in a... Ah, that's poor. Oh, he's given away a corner. Maybe this is a chance. Or not. They're not going to show the corner. Oh, we are seeing the corner. Kazola knocked away. The corners haven't been good enough. Kazola, Ramsey, Maratta. Oh, it's just behind him. But Chambers has picked it up. Having to play it left back. That was an interesting ball. Or attempt at a ball anyway. Okay, 12 minutes to go. Is there any way back into this game for us? Chambers, good tackle. Ramsey gives it away though. And here goes Suarez to Neymar. They're looking dangerous here. Alba whips it in. Messi, check saves. Let's do that. <laughs> We're going route one. Up to Morata. Let's see what he can do. The team's knackered. It's just two teams going for it, basically. Really going for it. And it's good to see. We've come out second best, unfortunately, and that's what happens when you do this against Barcelona. But at least I can say I've managed to score three goals against them. I think it's all over, unless... There's 30 seconds to go. That's blocked. If they get another, it really is all over. Ramsey into Ozil. Ozil still going. Back to Ramsey. Ozil, just get a shot away. No, he's fouled someone. That's it. 6-3. It's surely too much to do, but you never know. I could pull off a miracle in the second leg and win 3-0 and we go through on away goals. Or 4-1 or something. It's really unlikely. I'm going to actually say unlucky because it's Barcelona. Huge news. Chelsea have sacked Mourinho. Ah. So... They are fifth in the league, and I suppose that's why they've decided to sack him. So it's time to take on Southampton in the Capital One Cup final at Wembley. Oh, a chance of winning a bit of silverware this season. We've won the Community Shield, but you can't really count that. League Cup, though, it's the lesser of cups in England, for those of you that don't know. I'm sure you do know that. Uh, but I've got a few problems, because Gibbs is out injured, meaning... Who's going to play left back? Debussy's injured, Alaba's injured, and I've sold Monreal just at the worst time. Suddenly all my defenders are getting injured. First half of the season it was all my attackers and now it's my defenders. So I think I'm going to have to play Chambers there again at left back. And yeah, I'm going to revert back to my other tactic and we're going to bring... Um, Coquelin back into the team for Arteta, who did not play well against Barcelona, unfortunately. We go with, I'm going to go with... This is a bit controversial. I'm going to play Joel Campbell on the left. He's scored seven goals this season. He's had a very good season. In six starts and 15 sub-appearances, he's got seven goals. Because all is going to be coming off the bench as a, an impact substitute. That's my plan anyway. Let's see if it goes that way. Probably have to put... Oh, Bentner. We need Bentner in the team, don't we? Now, he's not cup-tied now. That's really odd. He was cup-tied for the semi-final. That's confused. That's obviously a glitch and a bug in the game. Bentner needs to come into the team. There we go. I'm ready for action. I'm kitted out for the final. No suit. I promise you if we get to the FA Cup final or the Champions League final, then I'll definitely wear a suit. But League Cup final, gone for a Berghaus fleece. I think that suits the, the situation nicely. Okay. They've got one me up front. He's a, a decent striker in the game, I think. Let's see how they cope against my attacking force. We're, <laughs> we're pretty lethal at times. Win it for the fans. That's the way to do it. Let's give Morata a bit of a boost. He's got 20 goals this season now and 28 starts and 4 sub-appearances. 16 assists as well. He is, he is good. I'm so glad I signed him. He's, he's the cheaper version of someone like Benzema, I guess. But worth it in the end because he's... he's wanted less money, he was cheaper and he's been just as effective as I think, I think I reckon Benzema would be on a similar level to him goals wise, so I'm pleased, very pleased with Morata. Okay 
on the attack within 10 minutes. Can we get a goal? Ozil into Walcott. Morata blocked. Ozil. Morata scores. 1-0 in this final. That's what I like to see. 21st goal of the season for him. What a player. So Bellerin, Bellerin with the throw in into Ozil. Walcott, I think first attempt it was blocked by the defender. Ozil then back into Morata. He found space and calmly slotted it past the keeper. Lovely stuff. I really like the 2D classic view. So I've sort of stuck with this the last couple of episodes. But um, I might go to 3D in a, a future game. But I think 2D Classic with 3D highlights, it works well on YouTube anyway. Bellerin. Walcott makes it to, I think he's offside for about the 70 millionth, millionth time this season. What is he on? Why does he? Why is he always offside? Here goes Southampton now. Can they get a goal back? Good defending. I don't know what, quite what happened, but we, we check managed to collect the ball. Pumped up the pitch to Morata. What's he going to do here? Heads it on to no one. But it's back to Joel Campbell who cuts in. Morata blocked. Walcott somehow saved. What a save by their keeper, Stecklenburg. Okay, Ramsey's on the ball. Can we get a second now? Ozil through to Morata. Morata. Morata over the bar. Oh, it's saved by Stecklenburg. A very good save by well, the looks of it because he lashed that. Walcott with the corner. Knocked in. It's back to Walcott. Can he get it back into the box? It's back to Coquelin into Mertesacker. Ah, oh, gotta love Mertesacker. And that's the end of that highlight. Ozil with a free kick right on the edge of the box and it somehow doesn't go over the line there. Right old scramble. Here's another chance. Ozil skipping past his man wonderfully all the way back, but it's into Chambers. Mertesacker, what's he going to do here? Nice ball over to Walcott. Bellerin. Ramsey. It's blocked. Bellerin back on the ball. Walcott hits the crossbar. He just can't seem to score today. Another highlight. We've got plenty of highlights here in this game, but maybe this is going to be on for Southampton, who are through with one me. Running through. Oh, it's over the bar. Unlucky. Decided to show the rest of the game in 3D. I don't know why. I just fancy showing it in 3D. So at half time, it's only 1 0. We really should be more than one goal up. I hope it doesn't come to bite us in the bum now that we've only scored one goal. There's not much going on in this game, is there? I'm going to take Ramsey off for, for Wilshire. And Cazor is going to come on for Campbell. Campbell's not really done anything in the end. This is a stark contrast to the Barcelona game. Nothing going on with 20 minutes to go. It's really bizarre. I think I'll just keep it. Uh, maybe I'll bring Man Manny on for Walcott. No, no final appearance for for Bentner, I'm afraid today. So a free kick to Southampton. Are they going to do any damage here? Down the the left wing, Bellerin collects. Mane clears all the way to Cazorla. What's he going to do with it? Lovely ball through to Morata. Can he finish it? It's a good save by Stecklenburg. That was a chance. Corner. Set up a little short routine here. Mane crosses it in. It's headed just wide. I don't know who that was. We're going to be able to hang on here just by one goal. We've had 25 shots to their three. 57% possession. Three click-up chances. How have we not finished this game? Can we hear? Wilshire, Morata, Mane scores and surely finishes the game against his old club. He's still celebrating. <laughs> I'm not sure the Southampton fans will be too happy about that. So one more goal in this. Here goes Southampton on the attack. Can they get back into it? With a late goal, fantastic save by Czech and it's over the line. What is Czech wearing? A weird orange and red combo. That is awful. Two minutes to hang on. Oh, 30 seconds to hang on. Five seconds to hang on. Is this the end? Have we won the League Cup? Yes, we have. On comes the awful looking yellow confetti. We've won the League Cup, the Capital One Cup, whatever you want to call it. The Milk Cup, for those of you old school people out there. Great stuff. Top score in the competition, McCormack and Barini. Interesting. Maratta, man of the match for me. So that's the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button if you haven't done so already. The next episode is going to be very soon. I'm going to play two league games, and then we're going to take on Man United in the FA Cup quarterfinal, or sixth round, whatever you want to call it. And then Barcelona in the second leg. You have to, you have to really pray for me quite hard to win that one, because we're 6-3 down. Can we somehow get anything out of this tie? I really hope so, but it's, it's unlikely. Anyway, one cup is down. We've won the Community Shield. Now we've won the Capital One Cup. Next up, possibly the FA... Well, I don't know what comes first. The League, FA Cup, Champions League. All of them around about the same time. Let's see how many we can win. Thanks for watching, guys.